Many tourists begin and end their visits to France in Paris. While understandable, Paris is a beautiful city. It's a shame because France has so much more to offer. For example, Normandy on the northern coast. This is the Normandy town of Bayeux, an absolutely charming place near the English Channel, about two hours from Paris by train. Bayeux played an important role during World War II. It was the first French town to be liberated on D-Day plus one. French General Charles de Gaulle entered the town shortly after the invasion began and declared Bayeux the provisional capital of free France. English, Canadian, and free French troops landed near here. Fortunately, Bayou was spared significant war damage because German troops immediately pulled out to defend the nearby town of Caen, which was not so lucky. Today, Bayou looks much as it did on June 6, 1944. The town is the site of the largest English war cemetery in continental Europe. Normandy's location has been both a blessing and a curse. The blessing is its beauty and rich farmland. This is cattle and apple country. No wine production here, but great cider and cheese. When Parisians go on holiday, they often come here to enjoy the beaches and the tranquility. Bayou is less than 10 miles from Omaha Beach, where American forces landed on D-Day. Bayou is an ideal jumping off place to tour all of the sites along the 55-mile-long invasion beaches and the Hedgerow country where airborne troops landed. Many tour companies like Victory Tours begin and end their tours in Bayou. It's also a great place to begin a visit to Mont Saint-Michel just 57 miles away. The Churchill Hotel in Bayou has a daily shuttle to the island monastery. Bayou is much more than a convenient overnight stop. The town's Cathedral of Notre Dame is stunning. It was consecrated in 1077, just 10 years after the Duke of Normandy, who became known as William the Conqueror, became King of England after the Battle of Hastings. William's half-brother was the Bishop of Bayou at the time. The world-famous Bayou Tapestry commemorates William's deeds. The Tapestry Museum allows visitors to examine the 75-yard-long embroidered masterpiece, which originally hung in the cathedral. Audio guides allow you to hear what was happening in each panel. Bayou was once a Roman outpost. It has been invaded by Saxons and Vikings. The name Normandy is derived from Norsemen. It was the epicenter of England's invasion during the Hundred Years' War. Traces of England can be seen in the architecture. Normandy also has a connection to North America. The explorer La Salle came from the region. He explored Canada and the Mississippi River. Many of the first immigrants to the Canadian province of Quebec were from Normandy. If you have the opportunity to go beyond Paris, Bayou in Normandy would be a great place to take time to travel. <laughs>